afternoon. Uh, it's a kind of a wet day to here in, in Northern Ontario today. It's actually raining. Uh, so uh, more and more of our snow is disappearing. And uh, once more, I'm down in the basement. Uh, it's a balmy uh, 13 degrees Celsius down here. So uh, we are just in the right range for, for some of these uh, products to work because any, any cooler and you're not allowed to, to spray them. So uh, what we're going to do today is we are going to do the floor of the quarry. Um, I have done all of the major walls. Uh, the part that I haven't done is the part that goes up to all of the, the buildings and the conveyors and everything that's going to be up here. That has to be done separately because I have to change all the cameras again uh, and I need to clean up my mess because I've got a big mess over here uh, that's uh, right in the way. The tracks are laid uh, for the, uh, the quarry buildings um, so it's just a matter of getting the floor done here and then uh, next week or uh, I will, I'll probably start on moving upwards and doing the uh, the ramp that you can see let me just I'll just switch over so you can see um, so where the uh, the PH uh, 4100 is sitting um, that's a ramp that goes down into the quarry for the trucks you, do I have a truck here I don't think so anyway I've, I've got a bunch of uh, large off-road uh, uh, dump trucks and uh, some uh, scrapers. Uh, um, what else have we got there? We got we got some lighter loading vehicles. We got some uh, some front end loaders, and uh, I think I even have a grader that's, that has to be uh, that'll be down there in that quarry somewhere. Um, uh, as you know, I built that. Uh, I did that school bus thing, and it's going to go somewhere as well with its little lights flashing and stuff. So anyway, today we're going to start, we're going to work on this. So again, this is one of those things where you're going to see my hands more than you are my face. Uh, but I'm just going to switch back for a second here and just explain what we've got up, up, up here. So I have got a sifter. Uh, you know, pull the handle and stuff comes out the bottom. But I found, I just tested it, and it puts out way too heavy a coat at one go. So I have this little can with a screen on it, and right now it's got the the darker of the two. Boy, that grit really catches in the in, the, in there. So I've got that grit, which is the darker of the two. I have water and PVA and a little bit of soap. I have water and Mod Podge and a little bit of soap and straight old 100, 99% isopropyl alcohol. Now when I was doing the walls, what I did was I would, I painted them all with the oil washes as you saw, and then I went back over top of all the ridges with, uh, with the powder, and then I sprayed that down with isopropyl alcohol, and then I sprayed it down with, with Mod Podge to, to glue it to the ridges and the benches on the, uh, on the actual mine. So we're going to do basically the same thing that I did on the ridges and the and the benches, but we're going to do it on the floor. Um, so I'm just going to get uh, put some some more stuff in here. Make sure we got enough to keep us going for a little while. I've got two colors of grout. I've got one that's called. Oh, let's see. I think this one is dark gray, and the other one is called camel, and the camel is the lighter of the, the colors that you can see on the benches of the, uh, of the quarry. So, we got this about uh, half full of, of powder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb up on the bench here that I have, the, because I've, my bench work is just like, I think it's somewhere around 40 inches off the floor. And, uh, and there's just no way that I can reach that far side if I'm just standing on the floor. So I've got this bench here to stand on. So here we go. Um, mostly we're going to keep it on this camera right here. Because you can see the, uh, the quarry itself as I do it. 
Um, so here we go. I'm going to start at the far end and work my way towards here so that we uh, nice progression of, of, uh, of laying down the stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my PVA and my water and I'm going to Oops, that's, I want it to spray. I don't want it to, to piss. Oh, it does, look at that. Uh, let me see if I can get this to do what I want it to do. Oh, I may have to use a brush. Now, where, what do we got? Okay. Got a brush. I may I may switch the sprayer top on that thing. I think I will when I go to do uh, do it again here. So now I'm gonna take the uh, little shaker can here and just. Now this isn't going to take very long, so I'm just going to keep going until I've got the whole floor covered. But the thing I'm going to do right away here is I'm going to switch the sprayer on this thing because it's not spraying the way I want it to. I want to put the other, this one with the that uses for the, the Mod Podge. I want to put that on here because it does a better job of spraying. We'll see what happens here. That does a better job. And then we'll take the brush again. And uh, Spread this around. And again with the uh, Sure, we cover all the glue. And now this little well down here, this little oh you can't see it, can you? <laughs> Anyway, I dug out a little hole here, and I'm going to put some uh, epoxy resin in there, uh, so that it looks like there's some water sitting in the bottom of the, of the port. Uh, that's something I've never done before, so uh, that'll be a, a short little video all by itself of me drawing that out. I'm just, just going to keep spraying this, get it all soaked down here. this uh, over here. Grab my little shaker again. And shake it. And once this is all done, I'm going to come back over top with the Mod Podge and uh, water mixture with some soap in it. They actually use the, uh, the stuff that you put in your uh, your dishwasher as the soap because it's a wetting agent. And uh, I'm 
All right, so we've emptied that. And I'm gonna switch these over again because for some reason, okay. And this is the water in my Podge. Let's see if it sprays better. And now we're going to spray over top of this. Give it a liberal soaking. There we go. That's what I want to spray like. Now, I don't want to be too forceful here. I, I don't want to blow the powder around. I would just want to I just want to get it wet again. So. Now the reason that the uh, p &H, uh, machine is sitting here is I'm going to put it I'm going to place it on top of this, this uh, this grout so that I can make some impressions with the tracks so that it looks like this thing actually has been moving around the uh, careful here we're just gonna, we're just gonna kind of blowing things away Now doing the, uh, when I was doing the walls, I've been working on the walls for the last week, basically. I've, uh, come down and do a section, come down and do a section and get, get it all done. That's the Mod Podge and water combination. This is IPA. What that does, boy, that, that cuts the, uh, the surface tension right away. I'm pretty sure if I had a couple of buckets of water, I could fill this quarry with water. It's water tight everywhere. There hasn't been a single leak underneath it for with all the water and glue and everything I've been putting on it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the lighter, the lighter grout, and we're going to dabble. We're not going to put it everywhere. We're just going to put it in different locations. Like I say, this stuff is called camel. I don't know if you can see it on, you see it on camera? It's much, much lighter than the, the other stuff. And there we go, that should be good one. And you can see, I just dropped some on the wall here. And uh, you can see it, it's quite a bit lighter. So now, we're just gonna take this, Really, just dust it over, and we're not not trying to cover everything. So, as you can see, it's not a very difficult task. I'm just going to clean up, clean up a couple of things here. Now. I want to just show you this brush. You see that? That's a makeup brush for putting, I think, stuff on your face. I've never had to put makeup on my face, so I have no idea what it's used for. But this is the brush I used to, to do the, the benches because it, it, it's so soft and it's so easy to control. And so I was able to 
just dab it like this and instead of having to come back and dry brush all the rocks by using this lighter grout I can I can really make uh, uh, see if you can see along see it just it just moves the powder around much of the light grout that's on this uh, on the quarry is uh, not glued down at all it's just sitting there and uh, that's basically the way I want it uh, the minute you add water it darkens up this light this light layer color and uh, so I prefer just to just to do that like that now I'm probably gonna have to wash the treads on that damn track machine but I'm just gonna Put it in the now. Can you see that? So what I've done down here is I've just pressed the uh, the big shovels tr uh, tracks into the into the grout, and we're going to let it dry now. And uh, that's going to give it the impression that it's been uh, that it's actually been moving around inside the bottom of the uh, of the quarry. Down here, where it, where it's pointing at the wall, I'm going to put rock much like the rock that I used back here on either side of where the shovel would be moving into into the into the wall of the quarry so that it looks like it's actually digging stuff up I like I said I've got uh, oh I think three four maybe four big open face oh, oh, off-road uh, cat uh, model uh, dump trucks um, and I uh, mean we're going to do the same with them. I'll just re-wet stuff and put it in, in place. Next week when we start to work up, up the, this way on the, on the mine, like the ramp and this area where the, the trucks dump, you can't see it on camera, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll fix that next week. And we're going we're gonna to put down uh let's see do i have any hanging around here yes i do we're going to use this uh this extremely thin cork it's it's a uh, one millimeter thick uh and we're going to lay it on top of the ramp right up to the top of the ramp and we're going to lay it in here it'll give it a smoother surface and it uh then the cork that's right here now it's that cork is good is is very textured and open so I, I, I don't want it to be that way when when uh, I put uh, uh, put the grout on, on on top so we're gonna glue that cork in place we're gonna fix a couple of places where uh, there are gaps and uh, I'm also probably going to run all the wiring uh, at least for can I get that done? Hold on, let me see if I can just move this thing in here. Okay. You can just barely see it, but this is the top of some uh, yard lights. There's two of them here. And then there's a wall with flashing red lights on it. And that's to light this up at night. And so I'm probably going to run the wires down through the base, uh, through the, the bottom of the, the layout. And then I can glue this light, this this piece of uh, that is holding the lights, and I can I can put the crusher inside a, uh, a cage that's down here. Oops, it's caught on something. There we go. 
is cut on a cage that's down inside here. And uh, I've got, uh, for this area in here, I've got a, uh, a container, uh, two containers, see one's on top of the other. And the top container has door, a door and two windows in it. And that'll be the, uh, the office for, for controlling the crusher itself. So we're going to let this dry and there's no much point in letting you watch it, watching you uh, paint dry, which is basically what we're doing here now. And we're going to let that go and call it quits for the day. Uh, again, uh, thank you for watching. I'm going to step down and change the view so you can see me. There we go. Okay, I just got to climb down here because there. All right, so like I say, next week we're going to work, start working our way up to the top, and that's that's what I want to do as a progression. We worked from the back wall up and over, so that it's uh, it's easy to uh, control where where the the scenic materials are going. Um, I've got some chain link fence that I can put in place uh, up here where the uh, up here where that office is going to be. And I've noticed, in, 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 and I should have realized it because I've seen it in Sudbury too. On all the roads in these quarries, or in these mining facilities, what they do is they just take big rocks and line the edge of the road with big rocks. So that I guess if you hit one with a truck, you know it. You put a, stain, uh, you put a chain link fence up there, <laughs> you'd roll over it and never know you hit it. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing that as well. I'm going to be putting rocks on the surface going up. Um, and again, it's going to be from that bag of uh, scenic scenic gravel that I bought from uh, Home Harbor uh, last summer. Just getting around to using it now. So anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. As I say, I do this for the fun of it uh, and to show people that with just a little bit of talent, you could do a lot of work here. Um, and I, so we'll keep going at it. Uh, thank you again. And we'll see you next week.